Welcome to Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, everybody. I'm Gary Thorne along with Bill Clement for a matchup tonight between the Bruins and the Canadiens. The Canadiens' offense is probably as good as you're going to see in the game. We'll see it tonight. Uh, I think they're going to have to simplify, though. It is not going to be a run and gun kind of game. They're going to have to be patient because they're playing against a really good defensive team. Center ice, Boston, Montreal. We are set to go. This great rivalry is renewed. All you got to do is think original six. He's got the puck. Takes that puck into the offensive zone where he can score. Big snapshot. Markov to Kostitsa. To Spacek. That's where they wanted that interception. Big opportunity, but that one wide of the net. Nope, no credit for a shot on goal on that rip. Price is going to freeze the puck here. The pressure was on. They needed that in order to get a, a regrouping underway. <laughs> able to pick that puck up uh, and able to control it. Chara to Krejci. They like to staple gun people to the boards. The Bruins' opportunities offensively right now are coming from along the wall on each side. Well, they spotted, I think, a real soft place in the defense, and that is along the sideboards. Spot check. That puck ends up uh, over there in the bench. We will get a whistle, and we'll start play with a face-off. Good work off the face-off, even though he just left the puck for his teammate. Played into the far side corner. To Krejci. Big shot. Saw that one all the way. Good glove save. Takes the shot off the bat. Beautiful save. A couple in a row to Camilleri. <laughs> to Krejci. Two on two in the rush. Wrist shot on net. Easy pad save. <laughs> to Spacek. Takes that shot in a hurry, long way out. Blocker deflection right there, that's a good chance. Krejci's putting the body on out in front. To Spacek. To Kostitsa. To Markov. Loose puck and he's got it. Off the blocker. Krejci. Wrist shot. Kicks that one away. Nice save. Good use of the blocker. To Spacek. Those two really collided. Camilleri's injury. Boy, what a shot he just took. Gary, he got annihilated by that hit. This could be bad. Well, we're watching him head back to the dressing room.
here. There's clearly some kind of an injury. Yeah, without a doubt. I mean, first of all, he's heading back to the dressing room, but secondly, he looks like he is really holding one of his arms. Carries it in. Got where he wanted to be, but that one over the top. Fine-tuned it a little too high. Takes that wing-to-wing -wing pass. Krejci. Up the gut to Lucci. He's got an easy save there. This is the kind of effort by goaltender where you've got to rally your team around you. Well, uh, at some point, though, I think he's going to need a little bit of help. I mean, he can't be tested this often. Just past the halfway mark of our first period. Boston shot totals. They wish that's what the score was. There isn't any, even though they've got a tremendous advantage there. Good play. Front of the net needs to clear. No clear. He's got it. To Cole. Krejci's just off by that much. He just can't find the back of the net, and there it's happened again. And he scores! <laughs> That's creating a turnover, and that results in a goal. Pedal to the metal all the way until the red light came on. Well done. Bruins offense took a while to get this going, but they're on the board. Yeah, now the question is, can they build on it, Gary? Because this won't hold up as the game winner. Score! Price's coverage will freeze the puck and the face-off coming. Here in Boston, the hockey fans hope they don't have to keep talking about tradition. Instead, talk about today and the future. They got a shot at that? Yeah, I think if they continue to build. But when you talk about the tradition of the history that they're talking about, it's when they beat the New York Rangers for the Stanley Cup in 1972. Most of their current fan base wasn't even watching them. To Spachet. To Markov. To Kostitsa. The Bruins' effort tonight has been get that puck away. And they're getting to it so quickly. This is the reason they're forcing turnovers. Under pressure. Offensive opportunity, three on two. Risson, not a very good decision. Save made on a shot that never had a chance of going in. Well, he didn't mean to do that, but he blocked the shot. Nice play. Got the stick in, knocks the puck away. It's up for grabs. Duplicanic. What a collision. He is down on the ice, Bill. This one could be serious. Well, he was northbound in the southbound lane. Uh, just hope he's not seriously injured, but this could be bad. The Bruins' offense is very tough to judge in this game. If you're looking at it defensively, you're not quite sure which is coming down ice. Oh, they are really mixing it up. The toughest offenses to stop are the unpredictable ones. To Kostitsa. Through center ice to Markov. Boston's physical presence established in the period. We'll see if they can keep that up for the game. Into the offensive zone. Three on two. Nice save of the glove of the goaltender. To Kostitsa. A turnover offensive zone. Puck will come back out on the offside. Closing in on the final moments of this first period. Horton's goal has given them the 1-0 lead. That came earlier on here in the period. To Cole. To Kostitsa. Chance save. Knocked away. Great save. He gets that one back on the stick after knocking it down. To Horton. That puck being carried along the boards up through the neutral zone. To Markov, to Gomez. It'll be an icing call on the touch. Now there's a teammate. He's moving in to take the place of the goaltender. Let's fight.
fight is over and the guys getting the penalties weren't the ones you would have picked at the beginning. Well, I wonder if this guy is as shocked as I am that his teammate, who's really an intimidating player, refused to answer the bell. That is my bottom. Good pick up on the puck in front of the net. Five the major for fighting. Montreal. Take it all back. All alone. Wristed that tough save. Picks it up in the offensive end. Lucic is trying to get position in front of that net. That was earmarked for a goal. Great pass save. Pretty good chance right there and a nice blocker save. To Spacek. To Kostitsa. That's how you use the stick. Kostitsa. Return pass to head up ice. Got it on the tape. Wrist shot. That's a scoring chance. It's going to be driven away with a blocker. Wide open action. That's the end of the first period. The Canadiens overall performing was bad. And I think that's one of the reasons that the possession time is not on their side right now. injury has been evaluated, Bill, and they're going to lose a key forward. He is a valuable guy. I mean, I, I'm so interested to see what this coaching staff is going to do to plug the hole. And with that drop of the puck, we start the second period. To Gomez. Chara's effort to get a new stick, he got it from a teammate. That keeps that line at full strength. Still has it in the offensive end. Big time collision right there. Let's see who gets up. Well, Cedeno Chara is a unique individual. The biggest man in the NHL. He used every bit of the 6'9", 255-pound frame to hand out some more punishment on that hit. Under pressure. To Kostitsa. To Gomez. Boston's defensive efforts tonight are paying off. It's all about hustle. I mean, they've really pressured the puck. Save made. Puck loose. Picks it up. Snap that one on him. Got it. Shot. That's not where he wanted the puck to go. Way off the net. Good use of the body in the offensive end. That puck is free. At the point. Handles that puck along the wing and up into the neutral zone. Stop! Well, you talk about a momentum builder. This is a two-goal lead, and they're hungry for another one. century obviously enough not to keep him away he's back out no and we know the coach has checked with him to make sure that he could go and as soon as he got the nod away he went that shot comes in close to Snap that one. Easy chance for him. Nice play right there. Use the stick defensively. Chara. Two on two the other way. Nice bad save. That's a good chance. Chance. Opportunity denied. Puts the glove on it with a puck behind him. Boy, I'll give him credit for getting to this puck. I, I got a feeling one of his defensemen was yelling at him. Behind you, behind you. Over six minutes gone in the second. Corvo's 
goal here in the second period is the only one scored, but it's been important increasing that lead to two. To Kostitsa. Across the ice, wants to move it to Hart. Here's an offensive chance, three on two. Good work with the glove right there, and he hangs on. Oh, unbelievable flashing of the leather. What a glove safe on this one. To Kostitsa, to Markov, to Gomez. Offensive strategy here, find a way to go with it up the middle. Shot, blocker save. Kostitsa. Puck sent back to Markov, to Gomez. Scoring chance down low. Oh, what a save made. Tremendous glove. Markov. Goes back to play the puck. Takes that pass in the middle of the ice, heading in. Over nine minutes left, second period of action. Corvo's goal has given them the two-goal advantage. Save. Nice play to control that puck down low. Lucic is battling in front of the net. Tremendous hit right there. Both of them are going to feel that one. To Gomez. On the charge, three on two. At the point, he gains possession of that puck. In a hurry. Off the player. To Lucic. Pushes that one in. Weaving magic in the offensive zone. What an effort. Controlling that puck in a dangerous area. Arm up. We got a penalty coming. This is going to be a delayed whistle. To spot check. Who set her eyes to Cole. He's got him right on his back on this breakaway. Oh, what a shot. Scores. And the lead is down to one with a long way to go. Cole's effort pays off right there. Beat the goaltender on the blocker side. Gary, yeah, there's not as much room on the blocker side as there is on the glove side. That was a great shot. The Canadiens getting a goal that means the next goal may not be the decisive one. Boy, I got to tell you something, Gary. I, I still don't like their chances in this game. I know they're only down by one. I, I'm doubtful they can get this thing tied. Has the loose puck. Nice quick snap. Shooter got in a good shot right there. Knocked away with a blocker. Kostitsyn. Through center to Markov. Neutral zone hit right there. Boy, he got all of him. Oh, you talk about standing a guy up in the neutral zone. He nailed him. Wing to wing to Cole. The Bruins' team effort has continued here in the second period. They continue to battle. A lot of teams can't sustain. These guys in the intimidation department have been spot on since the opening faceoff. Save. Here's a chance to move behind the net now. Big opportunity. Save. To Kostitsa. Quick shot. The Canadian skaters are continuing to find space just around that slot area. Great chances. So much time, so much space on the rush, and these guys are doing a great job of getting their offense jump-started by passing the puck. If you're defending, fall back. Make it harder for them to find passing lanes. Reggie's just got to be hurting. He's hurt a lot of people tonight. Take a look. And Gary, there are bumps in hockey games, but look at these replays. He has just destroyed people. Splashik's ability to block shots now is showing over a number of games. Which really tells you about his mentality because with the new sticks, everybody shoots hard. 
under three minutes left to go here in the second period. Cole's goal has cut this lead to just one. Big shot. Big save off a one-timer. Two on two the other way. Quick shot. He shoots. He scores. And that's going to be number two this evening. Barton's having one of those nights to remember. Multiple goal evening, and we could see more of the way he is going. Boston scores get it done. They increase the lead to two. Oh, they've picked up the offensive scent. Look out for more here. Bryce's the goaltender used to having better nights than this. He's faced a lot of shots, not as many saves as he should have. But if I'm the coach, Gary, I'm saying, come on, boys, keep playing. We can generate more offense. We're going to get a couple of saves. Don't give up on this game yet. Good position on the ice to take that shot, but that puck ended up over the net. Off the pad. Rebound shot. And another save made. Two beauties in a row. Carries to center. Big time wrist shot. He's got it for one last rush. Not a lot of time. Horton. Fires it. He scores! You take a look at the replay. That came from an area where you don't get a lot of shots. They get a goal. Uh, you don't think of it as being a dangerous area, but with this kind of passing and this kind of vision, he had lots of time to tee it up and blast it. That concludes our second period of play. The Bruins' domination through this first two periods has been pretty much complete. The big thing is don't change anything for the third period. Possess the puck. Keep putting goals in. Here's the third. Cole's given that puck away again. That has been a problem all night. One of the reasons they're behind. There's an offensive opportunity. One-timer save, and that was a sizzler. Gets that up ice. Offensive rush, three on two. And they caught him offside. We'll get a whistle here. Seidenberg. Good wrist shot. Got the blocker down on that. That's a nice save and kicked it away. To Markov. Long pass up the middle of the ice to Gomez. Krejci. Shoots! Put that one way wide of the net. Oh, mercy, how did he miss it by that much? That one had goal marked all over it. What a save with the glove. Under three minutes gone by here in the third. 
Lucic's goal, that's a big one. Gives him a little breathing room. Off the player, deflected. Picks that up in front of the net. To Gomez. Watch to clear this puck out of the end. Finds a loose puck, holds it in. Deflects that with a blocker. That's a pretty good shot. They'll give this one to the scorer's box. We'll see what the penalty is. Montreal's penalty, two minutes, delay of game. I wonder if the NHL crew is going to be talking about that call later on. Spashek's a real team guy when you look at these numbers over these few games. And it shows when he gets back to the bench, there are a lot of penalties in the back. He deserves it with these shots blocked. Two minutes for delay of game. Nice save. Face off coming after the freeze. Goaltender's got that one under control. Wants to clear. Gill's effort to clear works there. That'll give his team a chance to take a breath to Krejci. Lucci. He moves that one as he skates it in. Chance! Scores! And that's three unanswered goals. Krejci's going to go in as part of that goal. Uh, I let, listen, this guy doesn't even care if he scores and he's doing the right thing. Set people up. Boston Snipers, they are present and scoring. Full throttle. I mean, they have just taken this game away. To the goal. Score on the power play. Good luck or save on the deflection. That's an opportunity. Shot. Good save right there. That's positioning. To Michael. To To Cole. To Costitz. Five minutes. 19 seconds. To Seidenberg. Under seven minutes gone in the third. Boston's lead is now four goals. Comfort factors deep. Nice save with the blocker. That was an opportunity. And that puck's got a new home. That went out of here off the goaltender after that save. They wanted a fight and they got it. Bill, here in the third period, uh, we know on the scoreboard we've got a blowout, and I'm wondering uh, we're going to have more of this. Uh, we could, and I know one thing. The fight's not going to change the momentum or change the score. I think it's all about the next time these two oh, guys meet. Sent a message. Yeah. That's what happened here. Big time effort. That's the offensive oh, zone. To Seidenberg. To Hart. There's a good pass up the wing to Cole. To Gomez. Receives that pass in center ice from the wing. He'll get a save on that. All he had to do was knock it away. Not a lot on that shot. Seidenberg. Boy, there's a great touch. Took it off the ice on that saucer pass. Offensive opportunity. Three on two. Knocked away with a stick. Picks that puck up. He's got an opportunity down low. That might have gone home if he hadn't looked back. He covers it up. Oh, some fantastic awareness on this save. You can't take your eye off the puck. Easier said than done when it's behind you, but he found it with the glove and got the whistle. Wasn't a lot of talking before this one started. Didn't even have a chance for a couple of YI autos. They just dropped them and started throwing punches. Bill, in 
this kind of a game at this point here in the third period with the score being what it is, does this fight make any difference? I don't think it's going to make a difference in the score at all, but I mean, at some point, you've got to let the other team know you're willing to pay a price to be competitive. Message sent. Bounces away. To Cole. Cole's control of the puck tonight. What is the problem? Well, I'm not sure what is causing it, but I will tell you this. You're not going to catch up on the scoreboard when you make plays like that. And they'll work from the point. Save made to Horton. Into the middle to Gomez. Needs to clear the zone. We've got a penalty to be called. And the whistle's blown. Let's see what the call is. Montreal's going to be shorthanded. Two minutes for boarding. Oh, that has got to hurt. Take it from me. There is not much give in the boards. There's the whistle. We'll get the delayed call here. Cole's discipline tonight has been lacking. And again, he'll go to the penalty box. The Canadians penalty killing it back out. And they sure hope it's going to be better than the first time around. They had scored on that time, and they did not look good. Under nine minutes remaining, we're in the third. Bruins lead has given them room to skate. They're up five to one. How did he stop that puck between the pads? Squeezes it shut. efforts in the face-off dot just have not worked tonight and as a result his team is struggling loose puck and he gains control of it gets down low he was in the right place right time that'll be a blocked shot Subban's making the right moves tonight he gets that one out of the zone gives his team a chance to regroup into the neutral zone shoots what a play with that glove that was headed for the net to the side of the net not a very good angle the Canadiens turnover numbers are starting to pile up but that's because they're trying to make the tough play all they have to do is make the easy play they're out there in front of them they're just not seeing them hoping someone comes in to pick it up he ties up the man on the draw clears that to Horton Takes a shot. Tremendous effort on the save made. Shooter and a big time chance. That puck's just going to hit him and rebound away. Nice play. Brister. Nice save to Gill. Wants it out. The Canadiens back at full strength. Picks that one up in the offensive zone. To Subban. Move back up to the point. Takes that shot from a long way up. He got it off quickly. Shot scores! And they get the run stopped as they put another one up on the board. Tremendous four-checking job pays off. Gary, they deserve something good happening, and they hit it. Montreal's goal scorers trying to find a way to make up this big deficit here in the third period. Too little, too late. At least that's my take. Intercepted. Lucic. To Gomez. Two on two on the rush. Good coverage. He's got to move this puck. Gets rid of that in a hurry. Long way to go with it. And that's going to be controlled along that blue line. Horton. Nice wrist. Get the puck. A lot of 
folks in front of that one, but he gets the shot off. Krejci's shots are piling up here in this period. He's now due. He wants to get in on the act. I mean, everybody else seems to score! And another goal late here in the third period. They are adding insult to injury with that one. Hometown team late in the game. Putting one on the board to increase the lead. That's pretty much all you need here tonight, Bill. Now all these fans can wake up tomorrow with smiles on their faces. Score! Big lead, and they've added to it with this late third period goal. Well, to me, this really qualifies as a surprise. A playmaker turned sniper looking good in the process. Boston's offense it is put on a show here tonight, and uh, they can celebrate. It's a mark of a good team. When it's on the line, they went out and got it. after that last goal. Well, it's a foregone conclusion that their hometown boys are going to win, but it still feels good to see them score more. Score! <laughs> He's got three. He's looking, and uh, indeed he is going to get an assist on that. Uh, the dish master is at it again. scores have put on an offensive display. They're running out of time here in the third. And Gary, the thing that's most impressive is they pulled away late in a the game. They were good defensively when they had to be earlier. Now they've put it on offensively. Stick tonight, boys. He had some gold in there, without a doubt. And he's been on the ice when his team has scored, and that is why his plus minus looks terrific. And we're almost done. Here's the third period's concluding, and uh, wow, has this game gone one way? Gets that puck. Rich shot on. Here's the pad. Two on two the other way. Quick shot. Pad save. To Kostitsa. To Spachek. Connects on that one up the middle. Krejci. Save. Boston's ability to start any kind of a rush here is not happening. Yeah, and that's a great point. Forget about finishing the play. They can't even get it started. They're so sloppy. D around, so he lets it go. Seidenberg. Into the offensive zone. Three on two. Big save. Cole's handling of the puck tonight has lost his team. Check out the minus column. And this one's over. Boston scores. Scored early in this game, and as a result, gave themselves a lot of breathing room. It's really never in doubt, was it? I mean, they executed offensively, and when it had to be done, they got it just clamped down defensively late in the game. Here's an opportunity to look at some of the plays that made a difference in this game.
Jerry Thorne along with Bill Clement on behalf of EA Sports. Au revoir.